population, which is also known as the hematostasis, is it defined as a series of as a series of processes that stops loss of blood from damage or rupture blood vessels. Blood loss is reduced through the three hemopoietic mechanism. Three hemopoietic mechanism. Uh, mechanism one of which is blood coagulation the other two begins with the vasoconstriction and uh, platelets formation the blood coagulation is a hemostatistic mechanism involved involving a series of chemical processes that result in the formation of fibrin drugs in which the blood cells are trapped okay Okay, now this is the types of a protein factors which are present in our body, which are present in our body. Several factors called protein factors are all involved in protein mechanism. These coagulation factors are synthesized by liver and are present in inactive form called cymogens. When a factor is proteolized, it gets activated. This activated factor catalyzes as the activation of large amount of the next factor which sequence. Hence, the coagulation cascade gets amplified at each step. Coagulation cascade comprises of extrinsic in this and the common particles. Several factors called the uh, protein factors involved in protein mechanics. In here, we can see these. There are different types of protein factor. Okay. Different type of protein factor which is a which has a tactile protein factor. First one is fibrinogen, that is factor one. Factor two is protein. Factor three is tissue thromboplastin. Factor four is calcium. Factor five is lively factor. In here we can see this the factor six is absent. Okay, they are directly jumping to the factor seven. The factor seven is a stable factor. Factor eight is a the formula of weak factor. Factor 9 is a Christmas factor. Uh, factor 10 is a Stuart power factor. Factor 11 is a plasma thromboplastin. Factor 11, 12 is a Hetman factor. And the last factor is fibrin stabilizing factor. This is the, these are the main protein factors which are present in our body. Okay. The next one is intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway. Okay. The intrinsic pathway within the seconds after the tissue trauma, which depends on the factor formed within the blood. Extrinsic pathway, which depends on the factors, factors from outside the blood. Okay. In extrinsic pathway, this pathway has got its uh, name because a tissue protein known as a tissue factor, which is a transmembrane protein initiates the pathway. This pathway results in the initiation of prothrombinase, which converts the prothrombin to thrombin. This tissue is a inactive intravascularly upon the uh, tissue trauma. The tissue factor released by the damaged tissue cells enter in the blood where it activates the uh, eighth factor in the process of calcium. This tissue factor 8A converts uh, activate, uh, activate the form of 9 to 10 activated factor. Okay, in this presence, this calcium activated factor Comes with the factor 5 and results in the formation of row thrombins. Okay, next, we can see the say as the extrinsic pathway. This pathway gets initiated due to the blood trauma. Okay. It also this pathway is initiated due to blood trauma. It is or it is a slow pathway because it takes several minutes of generations of factor it derives 
it derives name of a name from the fact that the factors involved are present in the network. The pathway is a 